Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to To The Moon. So last, all, last time we left off at, we're now floating heads. Oh, line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. What am I matching up? Oh, oh, I see now, they have to be cornered, so this has to be Can I do you now? This guy is not connected though. Um well, there's it's these two guys that match. So I'm not sure what exactly I have to do over here. Hey Ava, check this out. Om nom 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 nom. Seriously? Wow. So mature! So how am I going to connect these two? There's nothing there that connects these two other. Huh. Nothing connects them. Nothing connects them. What connects these two? Not sure how I should be going about this. Okay. Oh, I see. There's that. Oh, did I finish it? But I didn't connect the um the other one. That's about all of the ones we can work with. Ready to pull a switch? You know me, always ready. All right, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. I'll be right back, guys. One second. All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, all right, Dr. Rosaline, where'd we left off? Ladies first. Not this time, hon. Okay, so. Uh, activate. Am I floating back and I'm activating? How am I gonna activate this switch, okay? I'm not sure. It seems to be we're kind of close to the ending here for To the Moon, but I am not exactly sure. That's a little too early. Let's enter from a bit further ahead to see the results. Okay. Huh? I guess this part is still the same. Let's check somewhere else. Let's transfer back with John and check the other memories. All right, so this is still good. Um, so let's go to this one. Sheesh, the same thing here as well. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. Desire was transferred, was it not? It was. It's her! It's River! His desire is never truly to go to the moon. His desire is to be with River. The memories are exactly the same. Okay, this isn't right. How could everything be the same? Let's confirm it. 
We need the, his, at least his last accessible memory. All right, so we gotta go to his oldest memory he has. This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. I'm not too crazy about where this is going. Well, I'm, I'm unsure of where it's going currently. If this is indeed the same memory, he'd be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. That's right, that's right, that's right, yeah. Um, sorry, I don't remember that. Yes, it is the same exact memory, but his, I'm telling you, that, that wasn't his true desire. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Ava Rosaline, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Oh no, she disappeared! The, the, it's a memory! Freeze him, too. Well? Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. Maybe that wasn't his true desire. It transferred successfully, for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps, perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. The one that was closed off that you guys weren't able to access. That's the one. And I still believe that his desire was different. So this is the last memory we left off at. Um, Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up. Huh. Well then. What the? This wasn't what they, what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. All right, let's go then. See, it's not the moon at all. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where is Neil? Where is Neil? Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, it was a bit too much pretend pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a bit more, oh, je ne sais quoi. What? What do you mean you prefer your movies to be je ne sais quoi? To the moon, darling. Oh, Henry. Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Yeah, she, you probably put on some really cliche movie or something. Still there. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. I need to transfer through John to try somewhere else. I know, I tried getting to him. Lily? Uh oh, something seems to be happening here. Right, we're, we're even at an earlier stage now. Perhaps something here could work. So did you uh, throw the encyclopedia in face? Uh, did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. What's starting? Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Hey, don't squeeze. 
So here we go. Something changed, definitely. But what? But what changed? What is everyone gathering for? And where's Watts? Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is. May I have your attention, please? Oh my God! There's Watts. As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Timmy! Wow, that was terrible! <laughs> but I digress. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering... What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring into another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn, or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon. Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. It could or you. Or perhaps you. But I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in... Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit. Um, no. I'm telling you, that's not his true desire. His true desire is River. Or to fix whatever is wrong with River. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. 100 hours later. <laughs> and did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true, in fact, if you try to bike around the moon, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. <laughs> also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you tr drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. Yeah, of course, random child. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> I like your way of trying to recruit Dr. Watts doing a fine job trying to trigger the memory, but we all know that's not the actual reason. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course, be right back. It probably didn't work. You know why? Because it's in fact. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't we, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as, well, deep conversation initiates between the two. And then they may or may not have come up with a conclusion. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for it. But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell the cells, you sure can. You're really trying now, Watts. Is it the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we were... Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. They're just interrupting all the memories. <laughs> Free body rides in space! Oh, look, a wedding. Good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should be going for your honeymoon? The moon. You guys are terrible at this. It's really funny seeing you guys try, though. River? <laughs> what the hell? Dagnabbit glass. Slippery. Johnny... John, John! What the cucumber? There you are. Woof! You know what? This just isn't working. 
It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You did it. Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. You don't want to know. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this is just going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Well, uh, you just got to find another reason as to why this is happening. That going to the moon isn't his true desire. Doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successful transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Probably because it's not his really true thing, I keep saying. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the cord to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? River changed a lot of things, especially within Johnny, because at first, ah, the sun's rising. How pretty. Hopefully Johnny isn't dead. That would stink. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. All right, well, that is a good point to stop at. We are doing so well now, you guys. But hey, we're getting really close to the end. I can feel it. Something's gonna happen and we're gonna figure out the second desire that he has. And I just believe it has something to do with River's condition. I'm not sure. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.